WrestleMania has officially begun. We are back inside T-Mobile Arena here in Las Vegas, Nevada for Monday Night Raw. Just 24 hours removed from an eventful Royal Rumble and that extravaganza that took headlines of WWE.com last night with all the latest news and results coming out of Sin City. And making waves 24 hours ago was the prize fighter Kevin Owens, who found himself the last man standing inside the squared circle, winning the 30-man Royal Rumble match. And Kevin Owens has told us that he will make his decision on which champion he will face at WrestleMania right here tonight, live on Raw. And also tonight, eight superstars will compete in an over-the-top rope battle royal, a second chance at destiny, as these men fight to decide the number one contender for Seth Rollins' WWE Championship in less than three weeks at the Elimination Chamber. The road to the Elimination Chamber kicks off here tonight, back inside T-Mobile Arena, and kicking us off is that very 2024 Royal Rumble match winner, Kevin Owens. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 266 pounds, Kevin Owens. We want to take you back to a couple of weeks ago right here on Raw. Kevin Owens going one-on-one -on -one with Joe Gacy trying to even the score for his best friend, Sami Zayn. But unfortunately, that match never go into the finish Kevin Owens would have liked to see as Karrion Cross arrived on the scene and continued his issue with the man who has been a thorn in his side since Survivor Series in November. Gotta wonder, as Kevin Owens approaches a rematch with Joe Gacy here tonight and hot off the heels of winning the Royal Rumble match last night, how is Karrion Cross feeling knowing that Kevin Owens is skyrocketing to the top and Cross has been steering a rocky ship? And his opponent from Franklinville, New Jersey, Weighing in at 249 pounds, Joe Gacy. Well, it's going to be a busy night of action here in Las Vegas as the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic kicks off. Later tonight, we will see Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes take on Elton Prince and Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly. Also coming up later tonight in T-Mobile Arena, the Street Profits back in action as Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford take on former World Tag Team Champions, the Rolling Brutes, Butch and Ridge Holland. And Joe Gacy coming up next week is gonna be involved in that very Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic alongside Karrion Cross as they will take on the debuting Creed Brothers. But that is then, this is now, and Joe Gacy is looking to pick up the victory and completely derail the momentum of last night's Royal Rumble match winner. And of course, as we talked about moments ago, Kevin Owens has said to WWE.com that he plans on making his decision on a what champion he will face at WrestleMania live right here tonight in the same ring that he won the Royal Rumble in 24 hours ago. A lot to talk about surrounding the man in the t-shirt, Kevin Owens, but right now the action has kicked off here in T-Mobile Arena and he has taken the fight to Joe Gacy. They are picking up right where they left off a couple of weeks ago and also last week, Kevin Owens alongside Sami Zayn and Bobby Lashley picking up the big six-man tag team victory over the street champ Solo Sokoa, Karrion Cross, and Joe Gacy himself. And there's still a score to settle between Sami Zayn and Joe Gacy. In Gacy's debut last month at the Slammy Awards, not only did he pick up an emphatic victory, but issued a beatdown on Sami Zayn after the bell. Sami Zayn getting a couple of measures of retribution in the last seven days, as we mentioned, the six-man tag last week, and then eliminating Joe Gacy from the Royal Rumble match last night. I think Sami Zayn is going to want to get it done from bell to bell. Remains to be seen if he's going to get that opportunity. Kevin Owens want to get his hands on Gacy, 
after their match went interrupted just a few weeks ago by the hands of the Harbinger of Doom. And as we mentioned, you gotta wonder what's going through the mind of Karrion Cross. Yes, he has another opportunity in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic alongside Joe Gacy coming up next week. The Karrion Cross has had this issue with Kevin Owens, the prize fighter, who right now is seeking Joe Gacy at ringside, and Owens soaring through the skies of Sin City. Owens pick it up right where he left off 24 hours ago. It was a brutal fight, scratching and clawing to the very end of the Royal Rumble matchup, and Owens right back inside the squared circle, ready to fight here tonight. And as this matchup continues, of course, we are already less than three weeks away from our next live premiere event. We are heading to Lone Depot Park, Miami, Florida, for the 2024 edition of the Elimination Chamber. That is coming up Sunday night, January the 28th, as Kevin Owens dropping Joe Gacy, going for a pinfall, and only a one count that time. As we were discussing a few moments ago, the issues between Kerry and Cross and Kevin Owens really started back at Survivor Series when it was Team Sheamus taking on Team Kerry and Cross. And Cross was really dominating in that matchup, eliminated all three members of the Brawling Brutes, leaving Kevin Owens as the sole man on his team. And it was a three to one comeback by Kevin Owens, ultimately eliminating Kerry and Cross himself to win that traditional Survivor Series match back in November. Kevin Owens and Cross have Obviously shared the ring since then in one-on-one -on -one matches that unfortunately have gone unfinished thanks to interference. Once being from Solo Sokoa. Then they were involved in the Hell in a Cell match at Armageddon, the six-man tag last week. And unfortunately for Cross, nothing has gone his way against the prize fighter. And now sitting back and watching Kevin Owens win the Royal Rumble match last night has not going to be, or I should say has got to be a bitter taste for the Harbinger of Doom. Nonetheless, Cross... Wherever his whereabouts are tonight, I'm sure he has his eyes on this matchup between his loose alliance, if you will, and Joe Gacy and the man who has been a thorn in his side in Kevin Owens. Again, next week on Raw, the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic on the Raw side will continue as Joe Gacy and Karrion Cross take on former Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners back in 2022 in NXT. And wait a minute, hold that thought as Joe Gacy's got this stretch maneuver in on Kevin Owens. This is how he tapped out Sami Zayn in his debut last month. But the prize fighter somehow with life left in him after the war he went through in the Royal Rumble last night. And now Owens trying to get back into this matchup, big time exploder. And Rock dropping the senton. Kevin Owens getting back into this fight. All bets are off as Owens is look, looking to keep his momentum that he picked up not only just last night, but over the last few months here on Monday Night Raw. Going for the cover. And Joe Gacy's still into this thing. As we were talking about next week, Gacy and Cross going 2v2 against Brutus and Julius, the Creed brothers, making their Raw debut from NXT. They were the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic winners the last time the tournament took place down in the black and gold, black and gold brand, excuse us. All tongue-tied after last night's extravaganza here in Las Vegas. Nonetheless, that is next week. Let us focus on the action that is at hand. Is this fight getting taken to the outside and Kevin Owens not afraid to brawl away with the dangerous and sinister Joe Gacy who might I say is probably not fighting the matchup he was ho so oh so hoping for tonight. Remember the match with Sami Zayn in his debut, an emphatic win. Gacy controlled the majority of it. Not getting the same result against Kevin Owens, but he may have just flipped the match on his head. That was a mean lariat. Right on the outside, spin it Owens inside out, and now he drops him with a neck breaker right at ringside. That is how you turn the tides. And now Gacy's not done inflicting some punishment on Kevin Owens as he drops him right on the barricade. We've got a Pier 6 brawl here in Sin City. The matchup back inside the ring. These two men risking count out there. And Kevin Owens going to be the aggressor. A lot of action taking place in the last 24 hours 
right here inside T-Mobile Arena. It was an extraordinary Royal Rumble last night. The replay available right now. Not only do we see Kevin Owens win the 30-man Royal Rumble matchup, but we witness Seth Rollins retain his WWE title in a triple threat over Bobby Lashley and Solo Sokoa, two men that will compete in your eight-man battle royal in the main event. Kevin Owens with his foot on the gas pedal. Certainly letting adrenaline fuel him to the finish line tonight just as it did last night. Owens is all over Gacy right now. This is what has been brewing between Owens taking on Gacy and Sweet. Same thing with Sami Zayn. Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn, their issues with Gacy and Cross just continue to develop. And Kevin Owens... Kevin Owens looking to let out some steam right here tonight. One, Off the apron, senton! I don't know if Gacy was expecting this aggression out of a man who outlasted the Royal Rumble last night. And back inside the ring we go. Owens with his eyes locked. Oh, could have been going for the stunner. Gacy had it scouted. Now look at this sinister. Joe Gacy dropping it with the backdrop. Simple, effective maneuver by that oh-so-strange individual. Oh, wait a minute. Don't take your eye off the ball, Gacy. This is a rookie mistake. And Kevin Owens looking to capitalize. Unfortunately, it does not work out for him. Now Gacy right back. Big time urine out on the canvas. These two heavyweights throwing down. But Kevin Owens is still alive. A little bit unenthusiastic kick out there. Owens barely getting the shoulder off the canvas, but the matchup lives on nonetheless. Owens going to the outside, using the ropes just to get to his own two feet. And a big boot is what Gacy runs into. And now Kevin Owens once more with the sharp right down on Gacy. And that'll do it. A stunner. A very sharp delivered stunner. Joe Gacy staring up at the lights of T-Mobile Arena. Kevin Owens picking up the victory he was looking for a few weeks ago. And 24 hours after winning the Royal Rumble matchup, the moment. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute. Karrion Cross. Karrion Cross is in the ring and he's ambushing Kevin Owens. Well, the well documented issues that we discussed throughout this match. And oh, wait a minute now. Karrion Cross jumping Kevin Owens from behind, obviously during the replay, and now he's got a table in the middle of the squared circle. This is completely ridiculous. Karrion Cross unsatisfied with his own defeats. Oh, and Kevin Owens, who could not be feeling 100% already, just gets rammed through the table by the Harbinger of Doom. The Royal Rumble match winner may be a victor but right now is staring down at Karrion Cross, and the Harbinger of Doom is only just getting started. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, January the 28th, from Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida. It is the 2024 edition of the Elimination Chamber. The final opportunity for the men and women of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown to punch their ticket to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Who will seize the opportunity inside Satan's prison? Find out live on Sunday, January 28th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time as WWE presents The Elimination Chamber. It is time to kick off the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. Well, let's take a look at the eight teams competing in this Dusty Classic over the next few weeks. Later tonight, the Street Profits take on the Brawling Brutes. Next week, it's the Creed Brothers challenging Karrion Cross and Joe Gacy. 
the New Day take the ace spot, but who will be their opponents? We'll find out next week on Monday Night Raw. And then right here, right now, the Carolina boys, Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes set to take on Elton Prince and Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly. Of course, the finals will take place Sunday night, January the 28th at the Elimination Chamber. The winning team will move on to take on Damian Priest and Finn Balor of the Judgment Day in March at WrestleMania for the World Tag Team Championship. High stakes, high reward. Here's a man who knows all about big winnings. And his partner from Burlington, North Carolina, weighing in at 220 pounds. Cameron Grimes! Well, as Grimes makes his way to the ring, ladies and gentlemen, we want to take you to another Raw superstar who took to Twitter earlier today to air his grievances, if that's what you will. Dominic Mysterio saying last night's Royal Rumble was just a reminder that it's time for a change. I'm a generational talent, and it's time for the world to recognize it. New beginnings for me are coming here on Raw. I just feel the day is near. Interesting words from Dominic Mysterio, who kicked off the Royal Rumble last night alongside his father in Ray, who was entrance number two, and Dominic not lasting very long, eliminated by Cedric Alexander himself. Gotta wonder what's gonna be on the horizons for Dominic Mysterio here on Monday Night Raw, but nonetheless, Cedric Alexander, Cameron Grimes, prime and ready for action, and their opponents about to make their way down the aisle. combined weight of 357 pounds. Ken Wilson and Elton Prince, pretty deadly. Well, we've only seen so much of Elton Prince and Kit Wilson here on Monday Night Raw, but Pretty Deadly made their debut back in September, challenging then World Tag Team Champions Brawling Brutes for the gold. Of course, came up short on that night, and they've been waiting for an opportunity ever since. Well, the former NXT United Kingdom Tag Team Champions back here on the red brand tonight, and they are set to compete in the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. And as we mentioned, the winners of this tournament will go on to WrestleMania in March to challenge Damian Priest and Finn Balor, the Judgment Day, for the World Tag Team titles. The Judgment Day retaining their gold in a clinic of a matchup last night right here in this building against Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of the New Day. Of course, because of that loss, the New Day kind of rewarded in a sense, gaining the A spot in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. But if they want another shot, they're gonna have to work their way through this tournament over the next couple of weeks. Certainly a task that is easier said than done. A lot of great talent competing in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. As we mentioned, coming up next week, we got Karrion and Cross who just laid out Kevin Owens in a despicable way moments ago inside the squared circle alongside Joe Gacy taking on Brutus and Julius, the Creed brothers, who are going to be making their Monday Night Raw debut. Plus the New Day, who are they going to be challenging inside the squared circle? We'll find out live next week in Los Angeles on Monday Night Raw. But nonetheless, here we go. It is the opening matchup in the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. The bell has sounded, and we are underway. Of course, Cedric Alexander kicking things off with Kit Wilson here. Alexander coming out hot. This is a huge opportunity for Cedric and Grimes, who are two challengers for the Intercontinental Championship throughout the fall and winter of 2023. Obviously, neither of them getting the results they wanted when they challenged LA Knight, respectively, but now they come together. These two Carolina boys who have fought all around the world have had some clinics in the past and have succeeded in their own respective careers, now bring their talents together to try to win this Dusty Classic here tonight. Oh, look at this little double team maneuver, my goodness. Cedric Alexander giving the boots, Cameron Grimes giving the German. Unfortunately, not watching his ring awareness that time, Grimes getting caught off guard pretty deadly, finds themselves in control. I want to thank you once more for joining us here in T-Mobile Arena, live from Las Vegas, Nevada. Once again, back here after a successful Royal Rumble last night. What an event it was. Our first live premiere event of 2024. And the replay is available right now. In less than three weeks, we'll be in Lone Depot Park, Miami, Florida. Sunday night, January the 28th at 5 p.m. Eastern time for the 2024 Elimination Chamber. This show going to have a lot of impact regarding the 
Festivities going down in March at WrestleMania. Cannot wait to get to Miami in just a couple of weeks' time. And of course, we are going to find out Seth Rollins' opponent for the WWE Championship right here tonight on Raw. And still to come, we have an eight-man over-the-top rope battle royal featuring some of Monday Night Raw's top talent, including the Intercontinental Champion LA Knight, Bobby Lashley, the man who made his return to the squared circle last night after being on the shelf since last July, the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman. Solo Sokoa, Shinsuke Nakamura, among other talent, all going to be inside that squared circle later tonight, competing for the opportunity of a lifetime to challenge the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. Nonetheless, Elton Prince in there right now with Cameron Grimes, waging for war in the middle of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. There's a tag main. Of course, the winners of this match will go on to fight the winners of the New Day and whoever they fight next week. Semi-finals coming up in two weeks' time here on Monday Night Raw. The final's going to take place at the Elimination Chamber. Oh, what a mean shot right to Cameron Grimes. You saw how Grimes just kind of collapsed to the canvas. But he got his bell wrong on that one. Unfortunately, for pretty deadly, not able to take advantage. Cedric Alexander getting the tag. And back and forth. Fista cuffs are flying. Cedric Alexander... Getting met with a couple of rights and lefts, and now Alexander trying to get back into this springboard. Nobody home. Was going for that tornado DDT, I believe, that he likes to impact on his opponents, but unfortunately not going his way. Huge opportunity for Cedric and Grimes tonight. As we mentioned, they're trying to bounce back from some of their recent opportunities over the last few months that they have fallen short from. Elton Prince and Kit Wilson are pretty deadly. Only have had so many appearances here on Monday Night Raw. Got to make the most of when you get the chance to compete inside that red ring. Meanwhile, Cedric getting caught up. This is not going well for the Carolina boys right now as Cedric Alexander finds himself fighting an uphill battle. And his hand beat. They're really beaten down on each and every part of their opponents tonight. Are pretty deadly. That's what you got to do when you're in there with such extraordinary athletes. And there's Cedric going for that Tornado DDT that we alluded to a few moments ago. Right on the crown of his head. And now into the ropes he goes. Cedric trying to mount some momentum for his team. Elton Prince trying to get out of that. But nowhere to go. Face first off the canvas. Will they advance? And let us see classic, not just yet. Kit Wilson saving the day as Elton Prince might have got his oh-so-good looks rearranged. At least that's what he would tell you. Backing off that time, back and forth, the pendulum momentum starts to swing in this opening round bout. Some great action so far in the middle of this Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic, plus Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford of the Street Profits, set to take on Butch and Ridge Holland of the Brawling Brutes. Later tonight on Raw, and another close call Cameron Grimes saving the day. Oh yeah, a little yes boy from Pretty Deadly. Sometimes I like them, sometimes I don't. I really can't tell. They're very egotistical, but you can't say they're not entertaining. Nonetheless, Kit Wilson in here, charging up and oh man, that might be ball game. A mean lariat just sent Cedric's head into the fifth row. That's it. Pretty Deadly are moving on to the semis. That was a hard shot. You saw the windup. Cedric Alexander already had his eggs scrambled. There was nowhere to go, nowhere to hide. That clothesline landed flush, and it obviously knocked the wind out of Cedric Alexander long enough to get the three. There it is right there. Oh, that was a meanly delivered shot right on the button. Here are your winners, Elton Prince and Kim Wilson. Pretty deadly. Well, pretty deadly. Successful for the first time here on Monday Night Raw. And as we see their name move on to the semifinals in the bracket, who will they meet in two weeks' time? Will it be the New Day or will it be the team that fights the New Day next week? We will find out in seven nights' time. But tonight, January the 8th, live on Monday Night Raw, Elton Prince and Kit Wilson making an impact in the middle of the 2024 Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Well, the next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, January the 28th. We are live from Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida for the Elimination Chamber. 
And coming up on the 28th, a six-woman Elimination Chamber match featuring three superstars from Raw and three from SmackDown. The winner will go on to fight their respective brands women's champion at WrestleMania. And already assigned from the Raw brand, the man Becky Lynch, the prodigy Roxanne Perez, and the up-and-comer Tiffany Stratton. Those three women will represent Raw. Who will represent SmackDown? We're going to find out this Friday live on the Blue Brand. One Elimination Chamber match already signed. A lot more info to come on what is going to be an extraordinary event in less than three weeks' time. Pretty deadly advanced moments ago. And now it is time to see who is going to join them in the semifinals of the bracket. Angelo Dawkins, Montez Ford find themselves in a similar boat as Pretty Deadly. Looking to bounce back from some recent losses, catch up to the big time, and move on to the semifinals in the Dusty Cup. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. On the way to the ring, at a combined weight of 492 pounds, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins, the Street Profits! Well, Angelo Dawkins and Montez Ford, no strangers to the spotlight. Former tag team champions, but it has been some time since they have seen consistent success. Dawkins and Ford getting an opportunity, just as all these other teams are, in the middle of the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. And it's win or go home. As you just saw, this is single elimination. Make the most of your opportunity or you're hitting the showers. Dawkins and Ford back in action tonight on Monday Night Raw. And could this be the reemergence of the Street Profits before our very eyes here on the red brand? All remains to be seen. The last time Dawkins and Ford found themselves in the championship conversation, they challenged the Judgment Day during their first reign for the World Tag Team titles back at WWE Live in July. Nonetheless, back in action tonight here in T-Mobile Arena. And Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins looking to go all the way up because they want the smoke here in Sin City. They may be a good bet, but possibly an even better bet. And maybe the favorites, the former World Tag Team Champions, who have got to be hungry to climb to the back to the mountain and reclaim the Tag Team Championship gold. And their opponents at a combined weight of 458 pounds, Ridge Holland and Butch, the Brawling Brutes. Last month at Armageddon, we saw the Brawling Brutes fall to the Judgment Day in a Tornado Tag Team Rules match, losing their World Tag Team titles. They got their rematch on Christmas night, and the stakes weren't any higher. A ladder match between two teams, and it was a devastating one at that. Butch and Holland putting it all on the line, but unfortunately for them, Damian Priest and Finn Balor just won the race to the finish line, grabbed the championships first, and walked away from Edmonton, Alberta, holding the gold. Nonetheless, another opportunity for both teams tonight. As the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic continues, another first round matchup as Ridge Holland and Montez Ford set to kick things off here in Sin City. Some great action tonight. Non-stop here on Monday Night Raw. You ain't gonna find this action anywhere else. Pretty deadly. The first team to move on to the semifinals, Cedric Alexander and Cameron Grimes' championship hopes, at least in this tournament, coming to a close for now. So who is gonna meet? Pretty deadly in the, in the semifinals, excuse us. We find out next week. Of course, the winners of this matchup, the Street Profits and the Brawling Brutes, will face the winners of the Creed Brothers and Karrion Cross and Joe Gacy. A whole lot of action in the Dusty Cup coming your way. Who's going to move on to the semis, move on to the finals in Miami, Florida in less than three weeks' time? As you just saw, that night in Miami is going to be a huge one. It's the Elimination Chamber, and the stakes couldn't be any higher. Three superstars from Raw, three superstars from SmackDown, a six-woman Elimination Chamber matchup. An opportunity to face your brand's women's champion at WrestleMania will ride on the line. We'll find out more information on that matchup this Friday night, but what double-team maneuvers by Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. And we got the two heavyweights of the team going at it. Dawkins using all his weight and bringing it down on Ridge the Fridge. This is a mean one-two punch in that ring right now, I'll tell you. Rich Holland just trying to create some space. Oh, look at that. That's one way to do it. You ain't going to see many men tossing around Angelo Dawkins like that. 
Ridge Holland, a freak of nature inside of the squared circle. And he's going to prove it again. A little Alabama slamma, even though we're in Sin City. I'll tell you what, Holland and Butch may be hungrier than ever. Former World Tag Team Champions, they held the gold from Unforgiven in September to Armageddon in December. Coming up short in their rematch, but this is an opportunity to get one more shot with the Judgment Day. Storied rivalry in 2023. The Judgment Day, of course, calling themselves, and I don't agree with this, but this is their words, the greatest tag team in Raw history. That is their words as of late. Two-time World Tag Team Champion, as voted by you, the fans, the 2023 Tag Team of the Year. Butch and Ridge Holland, I'm sure, would disagree with those sentiments. An opportunity to really erase the Judgment Day from their rear view mirror once and for all at WrestleMania hangs in the balance here tonight. Dawkins and Butch going at it. Butch going behind. Oh, look. Great strength by the Bruiserweight. Taking down the heavyweight of the Street Profits. Butch not afraid to tangle with the best of them. And now bringing Dawkins down the size. Little Kimura lock in there. Not sure how much he's got of it. But Montez Ford can create that separation anyway. It's been a great tag team matchup so far. Very physical, if I say so myself, between the Brawling Brutes and the Street Profits. Both teams ready to scratch and claw and leave it all on the kitchen table in the means of moving on to the semifinals. And once again, Ridge Holland manhandling Angelo Dawkins, which is not something you're going to see every day. Angelo Dawkins is going to feel that flip over the ropes on Tuesday morning, I'll tell you that. Rolling Bruce just trying to gain some momentum back on their side here tonight. The Dusty Classic, a great way to do so. Dawkins and Ford just trying to get their name back in the hat of competition here on Monday Night Raw. Ridge Holland down. Dawkins has got him in a weakened state. You got to wonder, even though we're a few weeks removed, are the Brawling Brutes still feeling the effects of that ladder match? It was a physical one all the way through. All questions that we remain to see. Answers to in the middle of this contest. Tag made to Montez Ford. Another double team by former tag team champions in their own right. I'll tell you what, the Street Profits are looking good. And their return to action here on Monday Night Raw. It's all about getting the result. Will they be able to do so? Both men going for shots. Neither get what they wanted there. Ford going to stack them up from behind. And Holland's got the strength to push Ford off of him. I believe Dawkins got rid of Butch and Montez Ford, standing shooting star. Montez Ford's got those springs and those legs, and he's showing them right now. Ridge Holland is feeling the brunt of it. And Holland getting Ford off of him. A whole lot of action to keep up with in this matchup. That's the only way to do it. Overhead throw by Ridge the Fridge. Those heavyweight maneuvers have brought the Brawling Brute some success in the past, but is it going to work their way tonight? Of course, again, still to come in your main event, eight men compete in an over-the-top rope battle royal. The winner is going to move on to the Elimination Chamber event in less than three weeks' time to take on the WWE Champion, Seth freaking Rollins. And although Kevin Owens was laid out by Karrion Cross moments after his victory over Joe Gacy. He had originally promised that we would find out which champion he chooses to face at WrestleMania live tonight in Las Vegas. Hopefully Kevin Owens is going to give us an answer before night's end here. Nonetheless, Butch tagged in and Montez Ford taking the rug out from under him. Rich Holland was trying to gain some momentum for the Brawling Brutes. Unfortunately, that tag to the Bruiserweight may have stopped it dead in its tracks as Montez Ford may have spoken too soon, gets taken off his feet. Ford crawling to the corner. The Bruiserweight not going to allow it. Going for the forearm. Reversal that time. Kick to the gut. Butch could be going to spin him inside out. Another reversal. Down goes the Bruiserweight. Hey, you got to give credit where credit's due. The Street Profits hanging in there with the former World Tag Team Champions who have seen a lot more action over the last 12 months here on Raw. Maybe that is uh, the situation at hand tonight with the Bruiserweight 
Butch really getting the beatdown put on him right now. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins may just be more hungry than the brawling Bruce, but I don't want to speak for any of these teams. We'll let that show in the result. Nice slice spread moments ago by Ford, but Butch is still into this fight. Angelo Dawkins tagged in. Will he be able to push the pressure for the Street Profits? Butch unloading, just trying to get the brawling brutes back into this, dare I say. Butch has been the one really not able to get some momentum respectively in this matchup so far for his team. It looks like that may continue. Dawkins, big time at Uber. Squashing the much smaller competitor in the corner. Butch may be seeing stars. Dawkins not done. Double underhook. What has he got in mind here? Oh, man. Spin out maneuver right on the canvas. And Ridge Holland not even going to allow a one count there. But nonetheless, Angelo Dawkins doing a number on the bruiser weight, but obviously not enough. Man, I thought that could have did it. If Ridge Holland wasn't weary on the apron, that might have done it, awarding the Street Profits the victory. But there's a tag made to Ridge the Fridge. And look at this double team maneuver by the Brawling Brutes. And just like that, Dawkins is in trouble. Ford knocked off the apron. Here we go. Angelo Dawkins is still into this matchup. We have got a fight on our hands in the midst of the Dusty Classic as Ridge gets countered out by Holland. Gets countered out by Holland, gets countered out by Dawkins. And Dawkins now finds himself fighting an uphill battle. Almost just like in the last matchup between Pretty Deadly, Cameron Grimes and Cedric Alexander. The momentum was shifted a lot there. Now we're starting to get to that section of the match where momentum is not able to be sustained by these two competitive teams. Butch with a breakup after Dawkins dropped Ridge Holland moments ago. Oh, wait a minute, look at, look at Angelo Dawkins sending Butch for a ride. Don't turn your back on Ridge the Fridge, though, however. Or maybe Dawkins has gotten exactly what he wanted. Ridge Holland roll to the outside. Butch is laid out. Montez Ford tagged in, and here's Ford from the heavens over the top rope into the drop zone. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins got a fire up their ass tonight. It is single elimination. Go big or go home for the Street Profits. And they do not want to see this opportunity go through the wayside. Tag made it a bruiserweight. Ridge Holland down at ringside. Ford is pushing the pace. Off the top. Crossbody lands flush. Montez Ford with Bush dead center in the drop zone. Once again, going to the heavens with a frog splash. And the Street Profits are moving on in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. The Brawling Brutes live to fight another day as their unfortunate bad luck continues. Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins just wanted it more here in Sin City. Here are your winners, Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins. There you see the updated bracket. Two teams have moved on. Two more to go. A lot more action in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic coming your way next week. But Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins returning to the Raw ring here tonight. It has been a very lukewarm last 12 months for these two men. But 2024 may be the year that they turn it all around. Dawkins and Ford with a huge victory. They're moving on in the Dusty Cup. What a matchup here in Sin City.
Two teams have already advanced, and next week, the debuting Brutus and Julius, the Creed brothers, are set to take on the Harbinger of Doom, Karrion Cross, and the sinister Joe Gacy in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic. Also coming your way seven nights from tonight, Kofi Kingston and Xavier Woods of the New Day are back in action. They're going to bounce back from their loss at the Royal Rumble. But who will oppose them in the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic? We find out live in Los Angeles next week here on Raw. And also coming your way next week, after a successful return to WWE last night over The Miz, the best in the world, CM Punk returns to Monday Night Raw, and that is all coming your way live next week from Crypto Arena in the City of Angels, Los Angeles, live right here on the Red Brand. But all eyes look towards the main event as an opportunity to challenge for the WWE Championship in less than three weeks' time in Miami hangs in the balance. The following is an eight-man battle royal. Making his way to the ring from Colorado Springs, Colorado, weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. I cannot imagine the almighty Bobby Lashley is in a good mood after the recent events. First losing to Solo Sokoa on Christmas night, which made the WWE title match 24 hours ago a triple threat. A triple threat that unfortunately Lashley came up short in. Now another opportunity rears its head, and the almighty Bobby Lashley is looking to make the most of it. It's an eight-man over-the-top rope battle royal. The winner moving on to challenge Seth freaking Rollins for the WWE Championship in less than three weeks at the Elimination Chamber. It's your main event, and it's live on Monday Night Raw next. The next time we come your way for a live premiere event, it is Sunday night, January the 28th, from Lone Depot Park in Miami, Florida. It is the 2024 edition of the Elimination Chamber. The final opportunity for the men and women of Monday Night Raw and Friday Night SmackDown to punch their ticket to the grandest stage of them all, WrestleMania. Who will seize the opportunity inside Satan's prison? Find out live on Sunday, January 28th at 5 p.m. Eastern Time as WWE presents The Elimination Chamber. We are back live in the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada. Eight superstars set to compete for the number one contendership. And from Hagerstown, Maryland, weighing in at 230 pounds, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, LA Knight. Well, as this ring is about to look like human demolition derby in a matter of moments, you can't help but look at the Intercontinental Champion, the Defiant, LA Knight, who could be on his way to holding two championships if he can qualify to face Seth Rollins in less than three weeks' time, January the 28th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time at the Elimination Chamber. LA Knight was a part of the Final Four last night in the Rumble, unfortunately eliminated by the ultimate winner, the prize fighter Kevin Owens, but LA Knight coming real close, and whether you like the Defiant Superstar or not, the rise of the Megastar has continued month after month here on Monday Night Raw. And here comes the man who made a hot and heavy return 24 hours ago. And from Sheryls Ford, North Carolina, weighing in at 385 pounds, Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman making his return to action after being on the shelf with injury since last July, last night at the Royal Rumble. Braun certainly made an impact. Lasted a good while in that 30-man Royal Rumble matchup, unfortunately eliminated by SmackDown's United States Champion, AJ Styles. But the monster among monsters is back in action and looks better than ever. But the interesting thing to note here is the last time we saw Braun Strowman in action was this past July. He was a part of an Independence Day Battle Royal, a matchup where he 
obviously sustained some kind of injuries, leaving him on the shelf ever since. You gotta wonder if Braun, re-entering another battle royal tonight, has the echoes of the past wandering through his mind. All remains to be seen. Braun's gotta keep his head on straight because opportunities don't come around every day. And tonight has been a night that opportunity is the word at hand. And their opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. And here's the man who finds himself once again empty-handed after leaving yet another WWE Championship match not on the winning side. The enforcer Solo Sokoa competed for the title back at Armageddon in December. And last night right here in this building at the Royal Rumble, Solo's got a bone to pick as he was not pinned on any of those occasions, yet finds himself once again empty handed. Well, Solo can put those past demons to rest if he can win this matchup tonight and go on to fight Seth Rollins one on one. No six man hell in the cell, no triple threat, 1v1 in Miami. But first, you got to get through the Battle Royal. It is your main event on what has been an action-packed edition of Monday Night Raw, and here we go. The bell has sounded and we are underway. Let's take a look at the field. The A-list superstar, the Miz, who just came up short to the best in the world, CM Punk, and I'll bite an incredible matchup 24 hours ago. The street champ, Solo Sokoa, the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura, the intercontinental champion, LA Knight, the Celtic warrior, Sheamus, the Blackheart, Tommaso Ciampa, the monster among monsters, Braun Strowman, and the almighty Bobby Lashley. I'll tell you what, it's an all-star field inside of that ring, and it's anybody's ball game here tonight. And there's a lot of superstars in that ring who've got a lot of history with Seth Rollins, and I'm sure would love one more crack at the man who has sat atop Monday Night Raw since last August. A lot of interesting situations. You've got Sheamus, who had the fan-voted feud of the year with Seth Rollins in 2023. You got Tommaso Ciampa, who we talked about at last night in the Rumble, really has not been the same since losing the Rollins back at Survivor Series. Been dealing with some nagging injuries, fought through him at Hell in the Cell in December, but tried to bounce back strong last night and unfortunately just did not go his way. Well, it remains to be seen who's going to be the last man standing tonight, but there's a lot of all-stars who could easily take down Seth Rollins. Well, I don't want to say easily, but you get the metaphor at the Elimination Chamber. Bobby Lashley, who for months found himself on the shelf thanks to Solo Sokoa. Wait a minute. And we have our first casualty. Unfortunately, the A-list superstar not going to be the one making his way to Lone Depot Park. Ron Strowman with the elimination there. That's got to feel good for the returning monster among monsters. As we were mentioning, the almighty Bobby Lashley for months sat on the shelf thanks to Solo Sokoa waiting to get his one-on-one -on -one WWE Championship match. And it was the enforcer himself who turned it into a triple threat. Now bite, Bobby Lashley was the one put through the table by Seth Rollins and ultimately pinned last night right here in that ring. At the end of the day, the situation was not what Bobby Lashley had in mind. Nonetheless, another opportunity at hand. And I'm sure Lashley, as you can see, would not only love to drive Solo into the canvas, but would love to get the elimination and win this matchup. Ron Strowman just muscling up Bobby Lashley. Very few men are going to be able to do that, but Ron Strowman obviously just a different breed in there. And speaking of different breed, he's duking it out with the last of a dying breed, the megastar LA Knight, who again was in the final four last night at the Royal Rumble. It came down to LA Knight, Kevin Owens from Monday Night Raw, Drew McIntyre and Cody Rhodes from Friday Night SmackDown. Cody Rhodes eliminated by McIntyre. LA Knight eliminated by Kevin Owens, and Kevin Owens ultimately eliminating the Scottish Warrior to win the whole Royal Rumble matchup. Wait a minute, Nakamura holding on, skinning the cat that time. Every single one of these men was in action at one point or another last night in the Royal Rumble. Whether it's in the matchup itself or Solo and Lashley duking it out for the WWE title or The Miz, who has already hit the showers, coming up short to CM Punk. And wait a minute, there's another one. Tommaso Ciampa out of here by hand of an old rival in the street champ Solo Sokoa. I'll tell you what, as bodies begin to fall left and right, you gotta wonder what the man who has been the man of the hour, if you will, here tonight on Raw, that being the prize fighter Kevin Owens. Earlier tonight, we speculated that Owens, as he said himself, 
would be making his WrestleMania decision live in Sin City, but unfortunately, we have not heard any update since Kevin Owens was put through that table by Karrion Cross. A lot of interesting situations. This is what the road to WrestleMania is all about. Wait a minute, LA Knight. Eliminated! Braun Strowman is on a tear as he sends the Intercontinental Champion back to the locker room. He might have made it down to the Final Four tonight, but a much smaller field and chaos ensuing in the middle of that squared circle. Leaving us with five superstars. Braun Strowman, who already has two eliminations, solo with one himself. The almighty Bobby Lashley, the Celtic warrior Sheamus, and the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura, upwards of a month ago, took on LA Knight for the Intercontinental Championship. Barn burner of a matchup here on Raw. Unfortunately, came up short. Nakamura can up the ante if he can go on to fight Seth Rollins in the WWE title elimination chamber. Imagine what that would do for Shinsuke Nakamura's road to WrestleMania. Nakamura ruling the ring right now. Death Valley driver on Sheamus moments after he tackled Solo Sakoa to the ground. Well, Bobby Lashley looking to stop that momentum dead in its tracks. Look at the power of the almighty. Lashley going right after Solo. That has been his sole mission in this matchup. But we talked about it last night. Lashley's anger towards Solo possibly blinding him in the way of pursuing the WWE Championship. Did that throw him off his game last night? Really, nobody can answer that besides the almighty. Lashley's got to make sure he remains laser focused on the task at hand. And that is challenging Seth Rollins one more time. One on one like he originally wanted for the WWE title. Solo Sokoa, however, in this matchup as well, and he could once again play spoiler for the Almighty. Well, it remains to be seen. Wait a minute, Lashley eliminating Solo. Has been eliminated. That has got to feel good for the Almighty. After everything he has been through over the last few months with the enforcer Solo Sokoa, Solo is out of here by hands of the Dominator himself. And that leaves us with four superstars, Sheamus, He's got his eyes on Lashley, and there he goes! Bobby Lashley has been eliminated. Sheamus eliminated Lashley. Braun Strowman Sheamus eliminating Sheamus. Eliminated. And we are down to two, just like that. The monster among monsters, the king of strong style. Oh no, running power slam to Shinsuke Nakamura. Braun Strowman's on a tear, and the monster among monsters is going to the elimination chamber. Braun Strowman took out half the field and now finds himself 24 hours after his return to Raw back in line to challenge for the WWE Championship. Human Demolition Derby in the main event and one man is left standing. Here's your winner, well, Seth Rollins, his challenges just continue to get up and up Difficult and difficult, layer on layer. The monster among monsters, Braun Strowman, the last man standing here in Sin City. And Braun is on his way to Miami, Florida in less than three weeks time to take on, oh, to take on that man right there, the visionary, the WWE champion, Seth freaking Rollins. And it looks like Rollins Looks like he might be trying to shrug off the monster that is in front of him, but I'll tell you, there is no intimidating Braun Strowman. Rollins better realize what stands before him because it may just be his tallest task, both figuratively and literally, in his WWE title reign. There you see the standoff, and all roads lead to Miami, Florida, Sunday night. January the 28th, as Seth Rollins will defend the WWE Championship against the monster, Braun Strowman. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I knew I heard something. Kevin Owens in the ring, a stunner. The prize fighter fighting through the pain of being put through that table by Karrion Cross earlier tonight. Kevin Owens arriving on the scene, a stunner to the WWE Champion. Has Kevin Owens made his WrestleMania choice? Pop up power bomb! Las Vegas wants to see it. 
one more time. Kevin Owens, I believe, has made his WrestleMania choice. Well, he's laying out Seth Rollins right now, but Rollins might not even make it to the grandest stage of them all. A second stunner! Seth Rollins will defend the WWE Championship against Braun Strowman on January the 28th at the Elimination Chamber. The winner moves on this Sunday night, March the 3rd, to challenge Kevin Owens with that same WWE title on the line. Business is picking up on the road to WrestleMania. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with a knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat, gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap, I'm a rock.